What's up, Castaways? This is KJ48, and welcome to our brand new Let's Play for Stranded Deep. Alright, Stranded Deep. This is going to be Season 6 for me. Um, yeah, I've played Stranded Deep for quite a bit, uh, quite a bit of time. If you guys are new here, uh, I will be explaining this game for new players, and uh, for you guys who have been watching my Stranded Deep Let's Plays in the past, welcome back. We're finally back here on the ocean. If you guys enjoy this video, please remember to give it a like. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. So let's get started. All right, so um, I cut out the cutscene. There's a cutscene before this where you basically uh, crash, you know, from a plane crash, you know, the typical thing. And, you know, here we are in the ocean. Like, uh, well, I don't know. Did Bear Grylls ever do it? I think he did. Like Bear Grylls or like Les Stroud. We got to, uh, you know, gather everything up here. I went ahead and... Uh, I went ahead and... Messed around with the volume, but the volume might still be a little off. If you guys are having problems with the volume, just let me know. And uh, there's been a lot of updates, so this is very different from the way it used to be. So let's get started. All right, so for crafting, we press C for crafting. Here's the crafting menu over here. We've got furniture, structures, and tools. The first tool we're going to want to make... Oh, by the way, there is a... There is a nice little tutorial. So we're going we're gonna to go with that, and we're going to press C and come over here and craft a stone tool. Drop it on the ground. Now we need to make a refined knife. So let's go over here again and see what we need for a refined knife. For a refined knife, we are going to need sticks, the stone tool we just made, and some lashing. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with this game, uh, like I said, I'm going to go over. I'm pressing C to get to the crafting menu. Hold down tab to choose what item you want. And basically, you can, you can use the items in your inventory, but any items on the ground around you will also be... They'll also be able to be used... Uh, when you're crafting so we're going to take our stone tool right here and we are going to look for a specific tree on this island and i'm going to show you what it looks like so here it is um, we're going to grab we're going to grab this yucca tree and what you do is you bash on it for a little while and eventually it's going to explode into a wonderful smorgasbord of yucca plants um come on damn it there you go so it looks like most of them fell over here so what we're going to do is we're going to stand with them in the area and we're going to hit the C button and we're going to craft us up some lashings. It takes four of these yucca things to make a lashing. What is it called exactly? Uh, fi Fibrios? I'm not really sure how to say that name. But that's what it takes. That's what you get from the yucca tree. And we head away. We went ahead and made some lashings. So now we're going to come over here and we don't have a stick on us. But I think there's a stick probably in the area. Yep, right here. So that's great. So that stick will be used and we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a knife. All right, so now we got a little bit of a knife here. What's next on the agenda? Craft a campfire. All right, so this will probably be a nice little area to uh, stay for the night. So let's go ahead and see what we need for a campfire. All right. Uh, that would be under structures and not a fire spit, but a campfire. No, not a fire pit, a campfire. So we're going to need four sticks. Uh, really quick, again, for you new players, uh, this is a survival open world. Man, I don't know how open world it is. I mean, it's technically open world, but there are boundaries. Uh, but it's a pretty big world, and there's tons of islands out there. And we have to eat, drink, and worry about things like oxygen when we dive underwater. We can go get shipwrecks and stuff like that. There are sharks in the water. We're going to have to worry about those. There's also, on some of these island islands, there will be, there will be snakes. So we have to worry about that as well. All right, so we're going to get some sticks. You can chop down these trees right here. I'm not going to do that just yet. Not with the knife. You could chop down these trees with the knife, but I am not going to bother. I'm going to cut down these smaller trees, these uh, ficus trees or ficus trees. And these right here will uh, go down quicker, and they will give you some wood. So we're going to go right there. I think that's three pieces of wood, so we're going to look for another one of those small trees. Uh, not seeing any. Oh, here's one right here. And this is going to give us the rest of the wood we're going to need. So yeah, as far as I know, the... And again, I haven't played this game in a couple updates, so I'm not really sure what's new exactly. But the biggest thing we're going to have to worry about is going to be... Uh, where do I want to store things? Uh, I'm probably not going to be staying on this island, so it really doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, we're going to have to worry about sharks and snakes. Uh, those are the basic... The basic uh, threats. Also, disease, breaking bones, and stuff like that. If you want to see your... This game is very realistic, so it doesn't have, like, stats and everything, per se. But if you hold down the F key, you can look at your watch, and you'll see the, the, the date there, the time, the temperature, how many days you survived. If While you're holding down F, you press the left mouse key. You'll see your hit points, your food, your thirst, and your sleep. Yes, you do have to sleep as well. All right, so let's go ahead and make a campfire. We'll make it right here. Let's 
good spot for it. And now we're gonna have to make kindling in order to lay, in order to light up the campfire. You're gonna need some kindling, um, so that's under tools. And for kindling, we're just gonna need two sticks. So let's see if we can find some more of those small trees. There's one stick. We just need one more. Now these right, this right here, this thing I just picked up is a wood stick. This thing right here is called driftwood. If you break the driftwood, it makes sticks, but they're not the same kind of sticks. I forget what they're called. I think they're called driftwood sticks or, or um, I don't really remember. We'll find out. We'll find out either this video or next uh, for sure. But the uh, the, st they're, the sticks have different properties. Like you, like they look differently when you build them and, you know, and stuff like that. Um, actually, is, is just the difference the building looks? I don't remember. It's been a while since I played this game. All right. All right, I'm not finding any smaller trees again i do not want to cut down those big trees with the knife it would take forever so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go along and grab some more of these young uh palm trees and they're going to drop they're going to drop those leaves i'm not going to say the name of them because i know i'm mispronouncing them um why don't you guys let me know what that's called uh fib fibros fibros or fibros i'm not really sure which one probably fibros i would guess fibros i uh, probably neither is correct but whatevs all right, let's go ahead and make some, uh, some more lashings, and then we're going to look at our tools. And what we want to make now is an axe. Uh, it's a pretty crappy axe, crude axe, that's what it's called. So we're going to need a couple more stone tools, so that's going to be the stone. What we'll do is we'll grab the lashings, come on over here, uh, make some more stone tools, go to the top, stone tool. Do we have another one in the area? We do. Two stone tools, we have the lashings on us, and now we can make ourselves a crude axe. So the crude axe is going to be what we're going to want to use to cut down trees. You can cut down trees with the with the the knife, but it just it takes forever. Oh, here we go, more yucca tree. There we go. I'm just going to pick these up really quickly. It looks like they dropped six now. I think they used to drop four, so that's really nice. Oh, we got a bucket here. Cool. All right, so let's come on over here and chop this tree down. So once you start chopping the trees down, you can see they kind of start moving to the side right there. It's a, it's a weird chopping animation, but, you know, it's what we got. And eventually the tree will come down, and what you're going to do is you're going to hold down the right mouse button on the on the trunk, and you could drag the trunk around. You could do this with anything. Um, you could drag anything around if you hold down the right mouse button. So I'm just going to leave that over there. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back and grab the coconuts. Another bucket, huh? Now, the coconuts did fall out of the tree, and you know what? I probably should have grabbed those first. That was a mistake. They probably all fell in the water. Ah, it's a bummer. Let's see if we can find them. Yeah, I don't know. Ah, oh, whatever. What are you going to do? All right, so... There's other coconuts on this island. It's not really that big of a deal. You can actually climb up these trees to get coconuts. Here, I'll show you. Uh, go right here. Hold the jump. Oh, you got actually... Okay, so you used to just automatically walk up the trees. Okay? And it was really annoying because as you'd be running through the area, you'd walk up trees and you didn't mean to. So now, apparently, there is an option to walk up the tree. Hold, hold, jump, and climb. There you go. Just a space bar. So what you do is you climb up these trees and you grab yourself some coconuts. Coconuts are going to be really good. Um, yeah, I'm on a weird angle. I can't quite get to them. Ah, that's annoying. Anyway, whatever. There's the coconuts. Uh, coconuts are going to be good for... Uh, they will give you something to drink. Um, basically, you'll you'll throw them on the ground and you will... Uh, let's try and get them, actually. Hold. There we go. All right, we'll get them now. They'll get them this time. Basically, you'll throw them on the ground. You'll hit them. And, oh, really? There we go. I got that one. It's not letting me turn anymore. It's weird that it'll let me turn all the way this way, but not that way. All right, kill me, game. All right, whatever. We got one. At least I could show you how to deal with them so you, you know how to get uh, food and drink. All right, well, back to what we're doing over here. So now we have a nice big tree here, and we're going to come over here, and we're going to hit the, the palm top, and that's going to give us palm leaves, and that's going to be we're going to need that for our first shelter. Uh, we're not going to need it right now, though. We're just kind of doing it because whatever. We got it there. So then you're going to come over here and you, you basically what you do is you could chop off different uh, parts of this tree into different measurements of logs. And there we go. And you could drag these around. You could do whatever you want with them. I'm just going to leave it on the ground. And I'm going to break it up into four sticks. Once you break up the log, it'll turn into four sticks. Okay. 
And then after that, we'll make the kindling. There we go. All right, so we need some kindling here. So there we go. You're going to pick up the kindling. You are going to hold down uh, tab and highlight the kindling. And you're going to come over here and hold E for the campfire. So now all you got to do is uh, just click the... Actually, just click the mouse once. Yeah, you just click the mouse once and he goes all the way down. I still think this is a very inefficient way to start a fire. Uh, I feel the fire bow would do you much better. But they chose to go with this little stick thing. And apparently this works. But um, I would definitely prefer to use a fire bow if it was me. Alright, so now we got to kill a crab. So if we're going to kill a crab, uh, first of all, let's drop off some stuff that we don't need. Coconut... Uh, two buckets and sticks and rocks. All right, so now we got to kill a crab. We need to kill a crab with. Well, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a spear. It's kind of weird they want you to kill a crab, but they're not telling you to use a spear. Um, I guess you could probably kill a crab with your knife. Well, you know what? Let's try it. I know I can kill a crab with the spear. I don't know about the knife. Let's see if we could. Let's see if we can kill a crab with the knife. Come on, Krabby Krabby. Where are you? No crabs around here, huh? Usually they're all over the place. Hello? Krabby Krabby Krabby, where are you? Huh. No crabs, huh? That is very odd. That is very odd. Maybe you just have to wait for them to crawl up? I don't, I don't know. I'm going to take one more look around the island, then I'm going to just go off... And uh, continue doing my own thing and, you know, we'll get more crabs tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, I'm sure. Next video. Alright, yeah, I'm not really seeing one. Get a little water. Oh, fishies. Fishy, fishy, fishies. Hello, fishies. Hello. Can we grab them? I forget. Can you just grab the fish? You know, let's make a spear. We should... This, um, this tutorial is pretty good, but it's not perfect. Uh, it should really tell you to make a spear at this point. So what we're going to do is we are going to look for a crude spear. There we go. Can we make the upgraded spear? There's a fishing spear. All right. That looks good. I wonder if the crude spear is better in certain ways than... Wait a minute. You didn't need the crude spear to... Oh, interesting. Uh, refined spear. What is that? Leather. Oh, we need some leather? Hey, leather's new, people. All right. Oh, look at the fire torch. Oh my god, that's so cool. Oh, the spear gun. The spear gun's a lot of fun, guys. It really, really is. Oh, it's, that's that's really good. Let's take a look at the structures. I should probably go through this. Um, shelter. Oh, you should probably make a shelter. Yeah, we gotta make a shelter. Uh, you need a shelter to save the game. So, that's what we're gonna do next. Um, so let's go ahead and make some lashings. That's under tools, right? Yep, there we go. We make any more we cannot um how many lashings did we need for the shelter only one so now we need some wood sticks that is fine let's go ahead and take our crude axe i don't know how long that fire is going to last for i don't think the fire lasts forever no it doesn't you got to put like wood on it and stuff so uh when i was let's playing this game la when i let's play this game last season i would use those um basically the sticks you would use to craft your your house and i'm not staying on this on this island so i'm not going to make any kind of base um but you would use the sticks to craft your base and you could use those like driftwood log sticks as well but they don't look that good um so what i would normally do is i would take the driftwood log drag it up here and oh i must have lost it all right come on so what I'll do is I'll break this up, and then it'll break up into, I guess, driftwood sticks. I forget. I don't think they were called driftwood sticks. I don't remember. Man, I really missed this game. All right, come on. There we go. Yep, driftwood sticks. Okay. Or just driftwood. Let's take one more look while we have daylight for the crabs and see what we can see. Also, uh, having, a, having a, a, a shelter will also allow you to skip the night. And not only skip the night, but you have to sleep in this game. Oh, potato plant. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any more crabs. It's starting to get dark. Alright, well, let's go ahead and make ourselves a shelter. And let's hold E and save the game. What, what? Save! Alright, we're going to wait. You don't want to sleep too early because you'll only sleep for... Oh, you're starting to get thirsty there. You don't want to sleep too early because if you go to sleep too early, uh, you'll wake up 
really early. So uh, let's go ahead and take care of our thirst. That's a good idea. All right, so you see right here you got the coconut. Go ahead and hit it once. Now it's a drinkable coconut. Pick it up, select it, and drink. And that gave us one bar of thirst. Can you drink again? Nope, only one drink out of it. And then what you could do is, I'm not going to do it because I, uh, I don't know if I want to, I don't know what I want to do with this coconut just yet. By the way, to drop stuff, I'm pressing Q. Um, I'm not going to break it up, but if you hit this again, it would turn into two edible pieces. And then you can go ahead and eat that. Uh, Alright, so why don't we take a, one more, why don't we take a, one more look through the structures. Um, we got the shelter, we got campfires, fire pits, you make, you got to build the fire pit on top of the campfire. Then you build the fire spit on top of the fire pit. Um, and I don't know if you, I think the hobo stove is just by itself. Then you can make the smoker. The smoker is the thing you really want because food in this game does go bad. Okay. Uh, oh, I see. If it says if it says fire pit right here, the, okay, I see the way it works. All right. So right here, you see how it says fire pit? That means you need a fire pit. Fire pit right there, that means you need a fire pit. Fire pit right here, that means you need a fire pit. Anyway, the smoker will allow you to make food that will not spoil. Food spoils in this game. The smoker will allow you to make food that doesn't spoil. Now, some of this information might be out of date, because like I said, there's been a couple updates since I last played. But, from when last I played, uh, the solar still is really nice. It runs on solar, pow solar power, and it basically gives you, um, it'll give you water over time, but it's pretty slow. The water distiller... Uh, works on fire and it costs you wood to keep the fire going, but it's a lot faster than the solar still These two work really well together All right, the loom is brand new. I don't know and so is the tanning rack. I don't know what's up with those But I think what we need to do is make a raft. Let's take a look at furniture a hook Really a hook, huh? A wood shelf. Oh my god shelves. Oh They have sh chairs and shelves and tables. Oh, this gonna be so cool. This is going to be so cool. All right. All right. Now I am going to take a moment and figure out how to build because I don't remember. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, I do remember. You need a you need a hammer, right? No, there's an actual build. Oh, wait. I saw something at the bottom. Okay, right here. You see on the bottom? Uh, farming. So there you can make a farm plot, a uh, plank farm plot, or a corrugated farm plot. Um, rafts. Here's the rafts you can make. You can make a wood raft base. A buoy raft base, a tire raft base, or a barrel raft base. And here's all the building you can do. And there's the crafting. Okay, so here's the building you can do. Uh, we already have a raft, so I guess we don't really need one. Although we're going to want to make a raft eventually, but um, that is okay. I mean, we could probably make a raft right now. It's not even that expensive. Should I make a raft? 14 sticks? One lashing? I could do that. I'd like to make some buoy. I'd like to make a buoy. Maybe I should... Ah, whatever. Let's just go for it. Screw it. We can make, we can make multiple rafts. It doesn't even matter. All right, let's get some sticks. No, no, no. We got to sleep or we're going to have problems. All right, let's go to sleep. Always save before you go to sleep. Why? I don't know. Just do it. Don't ask questions. What, are you writing a book? Ah, uh, see, we went to sleep too early. 5.30 in the morning. Damn, it's dark. Holy crap. Well, that was a mistake. Alright guys, we are in exploration mode, and um, basically what I'm looking for is a place to live. I came from that island over there, and I'm coming to this one over here. And uh, what I'll do is when I get here, I'll place down some sticks pointing me back to the island I came from, because I left, you know, I left a few things over there. Uh, one thing I'm wondering is, and maybe, maybe you guys can explain this, um, I have the regular, the crude spear and the fishing spear. Now, do you think the fishing spear is not good at fighting? Or, like, is the fishing spear I should be using for fishing and the crude spear I should be used for fighting? Um, that, that's what I'm not sure about. Um, I'm pretty sure that is the case. I should probably just use the fishing spear for fishing, but I'm not really sure. So it looks like this place has a bunch of rocks uh, and some weird, weird-looking trees. Those are weird-looking trees, right? I've never seen nothing like that in this game. Uh, it looks like we got a shipwreck there, which is pretty cool. Although I don't really like finding shipwrecks until I have a place to live because I don't really I don't like lugging around a bunch of stuff. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, some time and really look for a place to live after this island. Uh, we'll probably gather everything we can and uh, you know have a little stash. We'll probably have a little stash on every single island. I'll probably also want to make uh, what I want to do is I want to make a 
uh, a place to sleep on every single island so I can save and sleep anywhere I go. A shelter on every island. Also, if you if you uh, use the shelter, you can go back to the character creation screen. Or not the character creation screen, but the main menu screen. And um, I haven't tried it in this version, but last time I played, you could use that to check the map. So, it could be very useful. Alright. So, we got some corrugated stuff here. I'm not really concerned about that. There's the crab. Get that crab. Boom! Quest line! Yeah! Press. Oh, I don't have any room for him. Okay. We'll leave him on the spear for now. Alright, so we have a, sh a shipwreck over here. I'm gonna drop some stuff off here. Uh, this would be a good spot to set up camp on this island, I think. Yeah, it's a good spot. I don't want to put. I don't want to keep my stuff too close to the to the rocks because I'm afraid they might glitch into them. So we could probably drop some stuff here. Let's let's drop this and this and let's drop the sticks. And I'm gonna hold on to the tarp because I'm gonna need it to make uh to make uh, water catches and stuff like that. Right, let's pick up the spear. Take that off. Okay. Now let's check over here. Got a console right here. Press tab to open. Oh, okay. So that's new. Flare gun. So that's a whole new way to like loot things. I wonder if I could use this for storage. Probably not. Oh, flare gun. It's interesting. Uh, oh, I just picked that up. What the hell was that? I picked up a wood crate. Ooh, can I store stuff? Oh, tell me I can store stuff, please. Oh, I can... St Oh, it's got a torch, uh, a battery, well, a torch, a flashlight, whatever. Uh, um, yes, I can store stuff. Oh my god, I didn't even know that. Wait, how, how, many, how much stuff can you store in there? Only three items? Is there any way to tell? Uh, storage. Click to switch to wood crate. Okay, can I put a crab in there? No. So it's full. No, it shouldn't be full. It can only hold three items, I'm guessing. Okay. Let's check one more thing. Alright, so that's full. So let's put that in there. Let's put one of these in here. Crude axe. Ooh, refined axe. Okay. Put the crude axe away then. And that's it. So there's three items. Okay, so the, the thing can only hold three items. That is awesome. I wonder if I can craft those. Probably not. I didn't see them in the crafting menu, so. That is cool, though. I'm very happy about that. All right, anything else on here? I don't see anything. I'm not seeing anything here. Let me know if I missed anything, guys. But I don't think I did. And let's take a look around the. Let's take a look around this island. All right. So the the quest wants me to use the the knife to gut the uh, crab. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Not right now, though. Oh, we got another. Uh, we got a little shipwreck here that's underwater. So there's another crate. So we're going to grab that. Watch out for sharks. There we go. So if we can hold crates in our inventory, that means I can hold three extra things per slot, right? Huh. I guess. Oops. Can I actually use it in my inventory? I don't think I can. I think I have to actually drop it. Alright, so we got some vitamins and some pro and a propeller. And let's put our... You know what? Let's put the tarp in there. And let's grab this and bring it back. Man, this is awesome. Oh, this I love these updates, man. I wish I came back to this earlier. Old Eater Interact. Open that. Nothing in there. You could take apart these walls, by the way. And build with them. It's pretty sweet. Alright. Look at that thing standing up. Alright. Alright. I think we've uh, searched right enough. We're gonna... Oh! Hold on. I spoke too soon. Man, I'm just carrying around crates like a boss. Dude, these crates are gonna make it so much easier to carry stuff around. Oh my god, okay. I'm going to organize some inventory. I'm going to head back to my main island, and then I'm going to look around the main island. I'm going to finish up the quest, and then I'm going to look around the main island. And, um... Yeah, okay. I'll finish up the quest, look around the main island in this video, and the next video we will be looking for a place to live. So, I'll see you back at the main island.
All right, my um, my thirst is going down a lot quicker than I ever remember it. Um, it actually ran out. I've never had my thirst run out before, so we're having a bit of an issue here. Uh, it might take it might take a few days of game time for me to find a place to live that I like. So I think we're gonna have to set up some kind of water collector on this island. Uh, okay, so let's see where we're at now. Oh, three. Yeah, we're gonna have to set up a water collector here. I really didn't want to. I really didn't want to do that on this island. But you know what, man? I I gotta get something going with the water. So we're gonna collect. We're gonna set up a water still, and uh, we're gonna need three rocks and one tarp. I think I have some tarp in here, and three rocks. We're gonna need two more rocks. Should be some rocks on this island. Should not be a problem. Then we'll finish the quest. Maybe a little bit longer of an episode one, but you know, I think you guys are gonna be really excited about this game. Uh, it's always done well on my channel. I think you guys, people have been asking me about it, and um, you know, make sure you guys leave those likes and and, and comments and stuff, telling me how awesome it is that I'm playing this again. Uh, you know, because uh, yeah, I don't know. I, just, I think it's gonna do well. I'm really really excited to be back into it too. It's a really fun game. All right, so there we go. So now that'll just get water as time goes along, and we'll just leave it to do its thing. Uh, right now, what we're going to do is we're going to drop the crab, and we're going to use our knife on the crab, which is going to... Watch this. It's going to look like... Hold down E. It, it, watch this. It looks like we, we were, like, cutting our own guts out of our stomach, right? Oh, gross. All right, so that's gross, apparently. Uh, now we need to cook this. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to start the campfire. Let's move some of this stuff. Uh, nope, I didn't want to drop that. Let's pick that up. Drop this over here. And we're going to have to add some wood on the campfire. Hold E to interact. I think we're going to have to drop a wood on it, I believe. Let's see what it does when I interact. Nothing. Okay. So what we have to do is we have to pick up some of this wood. And then hold E. And there you go. See how it's getting bigger and bigger? We're putting fire on it. And then we're going to have to take our kindling and start this bad boy up. No, I believe cooking the crab is the last thing on the on the tutorial. I wanted to finish the tutorial this episode, so let's see if we can get this done and not make this a 40-minute video. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I can't believe how quickly you dehydrate now. Oof. We need some food, too. All right, so we got the crab meat, and what you do is you drop the crab meat on the ground. You hold down right mouse click. And you kind of like drag it over top, and if you do it at the right spot, it will stay up there. And when I did this last time, uh, when the tutorial's over, by the way, when you used to do this, you used to have to worry about this thing burning. But when I did this, I played this like a couple days ago, just as a t as a warm up, getting ready for the video. Um, I dr I put the meat on it just like it is now, and the meat fell off when it was done. So I don't think we have to worry about it. Um, I don't think we have to worry about it overcooking. All right, so. Alright guys, I'm going to spend the rest of the day collecting coconuts and just kind of like getting set up here. And what we're going to do next episode is we are going to go out and look for an island to live on. Um, I don't know what's out there. By the way, don't jump off these trees. You will break a leg and probably die. Alright, so we should just chop them down. Yeah, I'll do that off camera though. Alright guys, we're, uh, next episode we're going to look for a place to live. That's going to be it for this episode. I will see you next time. And until then, take it easy.